Thanks, guys. Music is very important when it comes to video games, especially if you're making your own. So I'm here with Reese, who's composing his own music for a friend's video game. Reese, can you tell me what's the story behind this? Well, so my friend has asked me to develop a main theme for a character that mm -hmm. he's building. And so the way I would start is, you know, I would find out if the character's good, if he's bad, even what he looks like. So what's the first thing you do when you're coming up with a melody or a theme for a character? Well, I'd have any sound I'd want, so a piano or in this case because I want to make it epic, sort of like strings and brass. And so what I've done, I had developed this small but really catchy theme. It goes like this. Uh, at the time when constructing this, he only gave me a few words, so you know, epic and triumphant and main character. Uh, but later on when I was uh, composing for the levels and whatnot, he gave me pictures. How do you interpret that artwork into something musical? On the colour, on the variety of it, like how dark it is, how bright it is, I can determine, especially what the storyline's about, where the setting is. All these different factors definitely help into making a theme. And so what sort of important things should you keep in mind when you're coming up with something like this theme? You don't want to start too complicated, definitely simple. Uh, don't stay on the one theme straight away because chances are you could change it for the better or for the worse. So you want to keep playing that theme and then develop it, see what you can get out of it, see if you can go further with it, change to another theme. If you want two themes in it, that's really catchy. So what sort of things should you do for inspiration while you're coming up with your theme? Should we be listening to similar sounding themes in other games or just other music entirely? Yeah, it doesn't even have to be video games. You can listen to anything you want, like jazz, classical. That's where these uh, video game themes actually come from, the main influences of those genres. OK, Reese, how do you take the sounds you're making on the keyboard and put them into the computer? Uh, it's as simple as using a USB MIDI cable. Uh, you just plug it in, you get a signal, you select the track that you want, you hit the record button, then you're good as that, just play. What are some of the challenges you face when you're building and composing your own song? Well, first off, uh, identifying the instruments that I want to use, so the uh, theme that I want to go after. There's going to be happy, sad, creepy, spooky, emotional, inspiring. And there's a lot of things I've got to think about before I start first. The finished product is the hardest challenge that I would actually face because I'm always stuck there thinking, how would I finish it? And when I do do an ending, it uh, turns out to be another idea that I use for another theme. Okay, and finally, Reese, what's your favourite thing about composing music for video games? Adding to the environment, of course, like, you know, you're playing a game and if there's nothing there, then I guess you're more attracted to it. But once you actually hear the music in that, you feel so much more involved, you understand what's going on. Yep. Yep. It's really fun to compose, just all the many different ideas I can get out there and just to see what people think about it. Great, okay. Can we have a listen to your final piece? Sure can. No time to waste, you two. It's time to answer questions at the Ask Good Game Desk. <laughs> chop, chop. <laughs>